Hey gals, I'm back, and I realized that I didn't answer a couple of things about the virtual party night that I have been getting questions on, so I want to make sure that I'm touching on those. So for the virtual party, I am making sure that I'm reminding her guests at least a day in advance. And yes, I'm getting her to remind them with individual messages, and I am not sending to her what I want her to say, because I want her to have her personality to come through, and I want it to be genuine and come from her. But the other thing with me reminding her guests is that I am actually tagging those in the party that have RSVP'd yes or maybe. And I have never ever had a bad experience from that. In fact, quite the opposite. I have had lots of women come and say, oh, thank you so much. I meant to put this on my calendar. I didn't. I really appreciate the reminder. I can't wait to hang out. And so that is up to you. That's just something that you have to decide if you want to do. And there's no wrong or right way to do it. And I think the wording that you use and the tone and the personality that you use in your party can either help or hurt you. And again, that's all up to your personality and the relationships that you're building with those guests. The other thing that I've been asked about is Tiny Torch or Cinch There. I don't use them. I tried. They failed me quite a few times, and it actually got a little confusing because I had some guests say, well, what's Cinch Share? Why, Cinch Share? Why is it saying that you're posting from that? What does that mean? And I also felt like it was a little robotic, and it took away that relationship building and the personality of the party because I couldn't adapt, and I couldn't become real flexible in those parties and just kind of jump in when needed and change up the posts when needed. And um, sometimes they would post too quickly for me and that is a huge no-no because guess what can happen if you're posting too quickly in your event Facebook jail and nobody wants to end up there how to avoid Facebook jail do not post boom 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 don't do it if you are posting you want to space out your post every at least four to five minutes and especially if you have more than one tab open with Facebook and you're doing event after event which is how I do more than one event at a night if I'm doing five parties, I have five tabs open on my computer. Each one is for each party, and I'm just copying, pasting, and uploading, and I'm clicking post every five minutes. So that way, I'm avoiding the good old Facebook jail. I have actually, knock on wood, never been in Facebook jail. I've gotten pretty close, but because I've kind of figured out how to make it work, I have never been put in Facebook jail, and I've seen more people thrown in jail for the cinch share, cinch share, gosh, that's hard to say, and the Tiny Torch apps. And so it's just great for me to just avoid them. If they work for you, fabulous. If not, you can check them out. I have nothing for or against them. I just, it doesn't work for me, and it's not my thing. So I wanted to clear that up, and um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.